Alright, what's going on guys? This is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and add a PayPal button or the PayPal payment option to your Wix website. So there's pretty much two ways you can do this. You can either add an individual button, which is going to be a one-off, or you can actually enable PayPal as a payment method throughout your entire site. And this is what you would do if you have an e-commerce store. But first off, we're going to start with just placing a one-off button. So we're going to come down here to this empty strip right here. And I'm going to go ahead and place a PayPal button in here. So if we come over here to add apps and we go ahead and just search for PayPal button, we'll see that this app comes up right here. So we're going to go ahead and click this one. And then we click on add to site. And then we just click add to site right here. And then we can see that once this loads in, this is going to give us a buy now PayPal button. Now, this is going to be more suited towards people that are wanting to receive like donations on their site or maybe just selling like one specific small product on their site. So they need a one off button. However, if you're selling a bunch of products, you don't want to manually put in a bunch of buttons. You're going to want to go with method number two, which I'm going to show you a bit later. So if you're just doing this one off button right here, you can go ahead and position it however you want but we can kind of customize it and set it up here by going into settings. And then once this goes ahead and loads up here, we can see that we can go ahead and choose between a button type. So we can have a one time purchase right here, or we can make it a donate button, or we can have a subscription button. Now do keep in mind that if it's a subscription button that you want to use, you're going to need a PayPal business premier or merchant account to go ahead and use this. So if you don't know how to do that, you can just come over here and you can see that in order to change the type of PayPal account you have, you just go to settings and then click upgrade to a business account. So it's pretty easy. But for these top two buttons, you don't need a business account. So let's say in this case, we're just going to do a donate button. So we'll go ahead and keep this right here. Then over here, we can go ahead and edit some of our settings within this button. So the first thing we'd want to do here is connect our actual payment account. So if we open this up, all we have to do is enter our PayPal account email right here and then click done. And that would connect our uh, PayPal with this button. And then we can come down here and set up payment notifications if we want. So whenever we get a payment, we could send a notification email to whatever email we specify here. And then we can also come in here to product. So in this particular case, if we were selling a product, so doing like a one-time purchase, this is where we could go ahead and put in the actual um, price of the product. So if I went ahead and switch this here, we can see that we can put in the product cost right here and the default quantity as well as different product options and tax and shipping. So we can do a lot of customization to our button settings right here. And then we can also come in here to design. And then this is where we can actually customize the aesthetic of our button. So we can see there's a couple different themes right here. We start out on the modern PayPal, but we can go ahead and do like classic PayPal. We can see if we click one, it changes the theme here. And there's a bunch of different themes that we can go with. So you can go ahead and choose one that matches the identity of your store. Or you can come in here to button design and actually manually um, design it yourself. So you could come in here and choose whether you want a flat button, an outline button, or a raised button. And then you can come in here and change the colors, or you can make it a gradient. So it's two colors like this right here. And then you can choose whether the gradient is vertical, horizontal, diagonal, etc. You could choose how rounded the corners are going to be. And you could also add button shadow if you want. So you can just do a bunch of visual customization right here. And this is going to depend on how you want the button to look and how you want it to blend in with your existing site. But typically you're going to want to make sure that the button kind of matches the branding of your website because that's going to look a lot better. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and just click done. And at that point, you've went ahead and set up your button and you're good to go. But let's say you want to sell more than one product or you don't just want to donate button. So in this case, you're going to have to actually make sure that you have a Wix e-commerce business plan already. 
So if we come up here to settings, we're gonna go ahead and open up my dashboard here. So once we're in the dashboard here, we're gonna come down here to finances and then click on payments. And then we can go ahead and manage our payment methods right here. So in order to be able to go ahead and manage the payment methods, you just wanna make sure that you're gonna to have to have a business or e-commerce plan because that's the only way that you can accept payments on a Wix website. So if you already have an e-commerce plan, you'll be good to go. And then you can go ahead and see right here that we can connect PayPal to accept payments from customers who have a PayPal account. And we would just go ahead and click on connect and we could just go ahead and enter our email address right here and click connect and we'd be done. And what this would do is this would allow people to buy any product that we have across our entire website and check out through PayPal. So this method is a bit different. So method one would be best used if you're just looking for a donate button or maybe selling just one thing. This is better suited for setting up PayPal if you have a online store as a whole. So with that said, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more tutorials, and I will see you guys in another video.